Hi everybody, welcome down to Carter's Golf. Welcome down to Jamiro Golf Estates. I'm on the Earth course. I'm on holes seven, eight, and nine. Today's video is all about the importance of your tee shots. Now, I couldn't have picked, I picked three of the most important tee shots on the golf course. And the type of shot I'm going to be trying to play on each hole is a draw. That's the type of tee shot I try and hit off the tee in general. Whether the whether the hole shapes from right to left or even if it shapes from left to right, I want to try and hit one tee shot so if i do see a hole kind of shit and to be fair the seventh hole here does slightly favor a little fade you could probably aim it down the left hand side a little kind of shape from left to right and the air would be absolutely perfect eight would probably produce um would suit more of a draw shape and nine probably the fade again if i'm being honest but one of the key things i'm going to try and get across is we don't want to be trying to change our shot selection every time we get on a tee Hitting the drivers hard enough is inconsistent enough with the speed that we swing it at, with the loft of the club, with the spin rates that we're producing. We don't want to be trying to hit different types of shots constantly. I'm going to hit three of the same shots. I'm going to show you how I play a draw, and I'm also, we're also going to play through the three holes. We're going to see how each tee shot sets me up for the score on that hole. So if I hit a bad tee shot, will it make bogey? Can I recover it well enough? Or if I hit a good tee shot, can I make birdie? Let's see how we do. Okay, so as you can see, it's not the most generous fairway in the world as you look down there. It probably looks even tighter there on camera, but I can show you it's pretty tight as well. It's quite daunting knowing that it's par five. It's, for me, it's a chance to make a birdie, but this tee shot is extremely important. I've got a bunker down the right, I've got two bunkers down the left, and I need to make sure I hit the fairway. Now, my stock shot would generally be a, a draw shot. My bad shot is a push. Just like most golfers that hit a draw, the bad shot is that kind of push. And then it sometimes has a little bit of shape from left to right at the end, but the push is the kind of detrimental one for me. And particularly on this hole, that bunker is absolutely huge. And if I even miss it to the right, I'm dead in the tree. So it's a huge tee shot, this. I want to make sure that I do hit my draw shape. So there's gonna be a couple of key fundamentals in my setup that I'm gonna to try to do to make sure I do hit the shape of shot that I want to hit. So, first off, I'm going to make sure that club face is pointed pretty much down, straight down the middle of the fairway. As a in comparison to club face, I'm going to close my stance. So I'm going to get my feet and my body aiming a little bit more to the right of the target or right of where my club face is pointing. So everything is a little bit more closed off, aiming slightly right of where the, tar where the, where the actual finishing target is. From here, one of the key things I like to try and see is my spine angle, trying to control my posture, trying to control where my body's gonna be as I come into impact. We don't wanna see golfers kind of using the upper body to hit down into the back of the ball. Like you may, something similar you would do with an iron, but it can really affect swing path. Gets a lot of golfers slightly from the outside. Also creates a hell of a lot of backspin. Backspin on the driver is gonna lose you distance. So we wanna make sure that once we've got the setup position, I like to try and get the feeling that the shoulders are pointing up to the sky. This does two things. It pulls your spine angle slightly away from the target, and it also just sets a little bit more weight down your back foot as well. So as the upper body comes in, slight tilt away. And as I swing up to the top of the back swing, I'm going to try and make sure that my, my upper body stays behind the ball. In relation to the ball here, my head is around here or so. So I'm going to make sure my upper body stays behind the ball. Lower body is going to clear. Low point is going to be here behind it without obviously hitting the ground, and then my swing path with it being in to out should produce that draw. Should. Oh, I've hit that little shot that I didn't want to. Depends on distance. I've hit it right out in the middle of the club face. I've just left the face probably slightly open as I've actually hit this shot. So I've pretty much hit a straight shot down the line of my body and then possibly a little bit of fade or a little bit of wind up there has just nudged it into that right bunker. So this is what we're talking about. This video is all about the importance of a tee shot but also sticking with the type of shot you generally play. I generally play a draw, it does leave me open to hitting the occasional push shot. Golfers that hit a fade will leave them open to hitting the occasional pull. So let's get down there, let's finish the hole, let's see what, that's kind of a bad drive in relation to what I want to do. So let's see what a bad drive now produces for this hole. And this is why you don't want to hit a fairway bunker around the earth course. 
I'm out with a 52 degree for my second shot on a par five. Oh, pured it. Hold it a touch. Okay, so not the best uh, start par on the par five where I was hoping to make a birdie, but it all came down to that tee shot. Trying to hit my stock shot, what I normally hit, got it slightly wrong. Decent, very good bunker shot to be fair. I mean, it could have really gone downhill from a kind of a, a chunky little bunker shot, either leaving it in there or just about getting it over would have not made it accessible in three. So really good recovery second shot, but the third shot wasn't good enough either really. I mean, it hit it a little tiny bit heavy. Worked out to be good distance, so I can't complain too much. It was kind of a good, bad shot, which is always a good thing. Uh, two putts and away with par. This hole now, this hole is an absolute beaut. Eighth hole on the earth course. We're going to play it off the very, very back tee, which is 100, 400, I wish it was, 461 yards. So we're going to hit that little draw shape. We've got four bunkers to be avoiding down the middle of the fairway. We want to stay away from those at all costs because the second shot is going to be at least a six iron from this tee. See, it was drawing tight. 193 yards left, so I told you fairway was key. I thought I was in the bunker, if I'm honest, but it kind of slopes down to this section, so I must have got very, very close. But a decent tee shot, 193 in. Seven iron, slightly downwind. Got our draw going again. Go. That's perfect online. Go! Ah. Wrong club. Perfectly online. Great strike as well. Wrong club. Felt like a bit of downwind, should have hit six iron really. I was 20 yards short, but T such though, one from two, one draw, what I wanted, one not so. Okay, last third and final hole of this part, ninth hole on the earth course, 499 yards uphill. So, this again just shows the importance of T shots. Even if I was to go for if you're a mid handicap and you're playing off the green tees, you're still looking at 460 yard par four. So importance of tee shots is key and just having one shot so i'm today trying to make sure i just hit one shape of shot it's going to be the draw shape that's what i hit all the time whether the hole suits it or not that's my shape of shot i want to feel comfortable over the ball so we've gone through a couple of setup procedures today making sure that ball positions in the right place which i did on the last hole i got my draw back shot before it i probably miss kind of misalign myself in terms of where my feet were it stopped the club face from squaring up to the target, therefore blocked it off towards the right hand side. So going through the correct setup fundamentals is absolutely key to hit that shot that you want to hit. Okay, draw shot. Straight down the fairway, please. To end up straight down the fairway, because that wouldn't be a draw, would it? Okay. I've just carried that last tee shot 300 yards through the air, got 193 to go. I've hit it into an upslope, so there definitely wasn't too much roll on it. That is how far this hole is. 300 yards, probably the best drive I've hit in a while. Straight through the middle, straight through the air. Wind slightly off the left. I've hit a draw, it's just held its line perfectly. Still got 193 to go. Same this is the last hole, but we're not going to make the same mistake again. We've got the six iron out this time, not the seven iron. So I'm feeling good about this. Ball slightly above my feet, so I'm going to allow for a little bit more from the right hand side with plus my, adding my draw to that as well. Oh, yeah. Good, good. Oh, 
it is good. Um, two career shots into that last hole. 300 yards through the air off the tee, and a six iron that went into what, 15 feet or so. So very, very happy with the way I played it, but it came from that tee shot. For me, from 499 yards, if I miss that fairway, it's almost a guaranteed bogey, isn't it? I mean, you miss the fairway, you are looking at chipping out, getting it back into a fairway, or whatever, wherever you go, from a bunker in particular. Um, it's so difficult to make par from where you are, so you'd need two career shots on holes like that. I played off the very, very back tees, hopefully to try to give it the similar sort of play into your kind of mid handicapper that would play as a 420 yard par four or someone that uh, maybe a, a single figure handicapper that would play as a 460 yard par four. As a pro I played it as 499, so it kind of brings it all back to a similar sort of distances and difficulties. So tee shots are key. Also hope you learned from this video about how to dry and draw the ball. I made a mistake on the first hole, I still do it as well, I still do it very regular and I obviously didn't do it on purpose. Uh, ball position is very key, making sure that we've got the ball in the right place so we can encourage the shape of shot that we want to try and play. And all the way through I've tried to hit the same type of shot and if I continue now for the back nine I'll be trying to draw it off every single tee as well. The occasional one, yeah I may block it but draw is my shot. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate your time watching this video. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. If you're actually not new to the channel, you do watch videos, please do just kind of sign up and hit that subscribe button. It's completely free and it does make a massive, massive difference to the content that we can create on YouTube as well. So please do hit that subscribe button. And for now, get drawing that driver.